welcome to my channel. I'm Michelle and today you guys are in for a treat. We all know how time consuming Thanksgiving can be. We have the turkey, the stuffing, and all of the side dishes, and it's just so much work. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a healthy, nutritious, low maintenance meal that takes out all the work involved in making a Thanksgiving feast. Here you have a feast of colorful vegetables and protein rich beans all in one dish. Just chop the vegetables, throw them in the pot, and voila, you got yourself a healthy, nutritious Thanksgiving feast in your mouth. I am going to be showing you two options. We're going to have a vegetarian option as well as a meat option. It's going to be a very easy transition between both, so let's get cooking. Good looking. Start off by dicing the onions. So you could cut them into round pieces and then chop them finely. Peel the garlic and then crush it with the garlic press or mortar and pestle. Now cut the carrots into quarter inch circles. Cutting the sweet potatoes might be difficult. The best way to do this is to cut them into circles and then dice them into 1 4 inch pieces. Start off by cutting all four sides of the bell pepper. Remove the veins and seeds and then dice. So now it's habanero time, you guessed it. Now, if you don't like spicy food, you don't have to use habanero. You could opt for a little bit of crushed pepper or you could do without altogether. Use as much as you like at your discretion. If you're going to go ahead and use the habanero, there's a couple of tips. First of all, use gloves. If you don't have gloves, don't worry. You could go ahead and use some saran wrap and wrap your hand with it and that will do just fine. Whenever you're handling the habanero, if you want to control the spice, you could very easily do that. All you need to do, remove the seeds and remove the vein and you can control the spice. You can still get that habanero taste without all the spice. Heat some oil and add in the onions. When you hear that sizzle, that's when you know it's time. So if you're going for the meat option, this is going to be where you add in the meat. If you're not, then just go ahead and add half of the garlic. Add in the garlic and stir the onions until golden brown. I love the aroma of the garlic. It's amazing. Add in the meat and break it up using a wooden spatula. Add the allspice and cook the meat until done. Now that the vegetables are ready, go ahead and add them into the pot. Add in the garlic, the beans, and the crushed tomatoes. Now add in the spices. We have some pepper here, some turmeric, some cumin, paprika, chili, and salt as desired. I used one teaspoon. Add in the broth of your choosing here and then bring to a boil, then cover and cook for an hour and 15 minutes. I 
I am so excited. I can't wait to dive in to serve this with a side of sourdough to dip it in the wonderful juices. Mmm. Oh, wow. The habanero gave it the kick that I absolutely love. If you guys like spicy, you're gonna enjoy that habanero kick. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this recipe to be helpful for your next Thanksgiving feast. Give this video a like if you liked it and share it because everybody deserves a simple Thanksgiving. From my kitchen to yours, happy Thanksgiving.